All you find is if you, if you, we build on it, it's a little bit like, for instance, day one, saying to someone, here's, here's a 12 week training program, even though you are in that kind of situation with what it is we're doing, but you just do it piece by piece. You just find that piece by piece, if you can't stop eating bread, and you can't control the snack limit, then that's obviously a subject we come back to. Of course. But you of normally course. find as a coach that most people want, and not you, but most people, they want a kind of 52 week, 360 meal ideas, and plus all the answers to all the little niggly <laughs> questions they had, so they can basically eat kind of what they're eating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Weight Watchers, yeah, yeah. yeah, I kind of want to have a curry. Is this all right? Or, you know, the, is, and I'll put, the, I'll put the training process down to three key words so you kind of understand. If someone really wants it, right, so you've got desire. If someone really wants it, right, that's the key ingredient. Of course. If you want it, yeah. um, then that, without that, it obviously disappears. Because yeah. if, if the athlete or the, the F1 driver doesn't want to get in his car anymore, yeah. then obviously the, 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 the pit team, which is obviously me, then I have to think, oh, well, if we don't have a driver, we're obviously not racing. Yeah, of course, you know, yeah. I've already had my racing career. I need a, someone to drive this car. Yeah. So you obviously the desire is key. Determination is obviously when that desire is challenged. Without the correct, everyone could want it. Every single person in this gym wants body transformation, right? Yeah. As soon as it gets uncomfortable, they'll stop. Yeah. They don't want it anymore. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah, do this training program. Oh, well, you know, I kind of came in. All right, great. Uh, did you come in? No, you don't really want it then. Yeah. You yeah. did want it yeah. until it got difficult, yeah. and then you didn't yeah. want it anymore, right? Yeah. So that's determination. Discipline is obviously the keystone, but the discipline, in other words, with all the three of these things, as long as you want it, everything else, yeah. it's like if, if you had three bottles, it's really the only one that's crucial is the desire one. Yeah, yeah. Someone wants it, yeah. and they keep wanting it, yeah. the other two will always fluctuate. Some people have. I, uh, you know, most people, athletes have no discipline until they get the tracksuit on and the training, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. why it all falls apart when they stop. Yeah, of course. Determination-wise, fluctuates. Okay. Sometimes you'll feel awful, yeah. but it's they'll kind of feed off each other. You know, like with an engine and a battery. Yeah. Oops, sorry. <laughs> the engine charges the battery. Yeah. Yeah. When the engine's off, the battery's running. Yeah. When the engine comes, it recharges the battery. Yeah. So it's, we're pretty much the same way. Sometimes you're going to feel awful and you don't feel like you even want it. Yeah. But that bit of determination that you built up in the first run comes in. Yeah. Other times you won't have the, the, the discipline, but you'll want your goal still, but your discipline won't be there. And what they'll just end up doing is, is just the hard wiring that it fluctuates sure. and takes you through. Make sense? Yeah, sure. It, it all makes process. sense. It's all intelligent. It's all, it's all intellectual. I wanted to throw something in there. You talked about confidence, didn't you? I heard once um, the ego test with an inferiority complex, which I really quite liked. You know, the two extremes of confident people who you know, struggle at the other end of the scale. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's all... Um, yeah. Right, so what we're going to do... Yeah, what we're going to do... What the plan is, is this. Um... We're going to create you... I was going to say, you build now the... This is it. So, so based on... Yeah. yeah, the premise of this, this, this... This is training cycle one. Right. right? Big training. heavy weights, you said. It. No? Big muscle. Training cycle one, what it's going to entail is it's going, going to be um, your web page. Your web page will have two to three workouts on it. Okay. These are greens now? Or... This is a red workout for right. building muscle. Cool. And a green workout for cardiovascular machines. Yeah, okay. Possibly a separate okay. abdominal kind of workout. Okay. So kind of two green and one red. In they'll, one session? They'll be on your page. Right, okay. And it will yeah. be, training works, you've got kind of a seven day, seven boxes, right? Yeah. Your ideal situation is at least two to three of those boxes are days when you train. Yeah. Yes, yeah. And your ideal food, with your food planner, is that you have out of your seven days, at least three or four days where you're kind of roughly following that food planner, which is, uh, yeah, I started with porridge, 
I had a big meal for lunch. I had a smaller meal in the evening. Yeah. I didn't eat bread. I drank a lot of water. Yeah? Because what you find to make this whole system stand up and really straightforward is, I've got Jonathan. He did those three workouts three days a week. He had great food days four days a week. And those are the pictures. And I can just draw a box around it and file it away. So that you can always revert back to that. So if you're building a brick wall, that's the first brick. Yeah, foundation stone. Yeah. yeah. And off that, I could, that's my default brick. Yeah. So when we try and get more fancy in your cycles to come, you can always go back to that. Yeah. That might disappear. Yeah. Or you might find over your 52 weeks that it's that three yeah. times with a bit of madness in between. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. That, yeah. That's how you build a program. Yeah. So what we're going to do... It's yeah, the no. ideal, isn't it? That's the, these, are, these are perfect ideals. Like I said, you've got the foundation stone. Yeah. Um, and then try to... Yeah. I know what I mean. Yeah. yeah I, 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 uh, you know what I think. I know what you mean. Just type, just type I know what you mean. I just type in the word foundation stone. <laughs> now, uh, so 12 weeks... Yeah, and basically, this is this is what you would class as our first video training program. We had a consultation yesterday. Yeah, this is day one. Yeah. of our consultation here. Our plan is is that we're going to film together. Yes, um, me showing you all the exercises on your on your web page. Yeah, yeah. Now on your web page, uh, after that session, you should know how to do all the exercises. The experiment that we're having, yes. the reason why we're filming this, yes. is because it's mainly an unsupervised program. That said, overall we want to be successful, of which course. means that after that day one showing, yeah. we're going to have a process of you then are, a, are basically that, that schedule and those workouts are under your microscope. You're doing them, and then you're going to be making your video diaries, yes. and you're going to be communicating to me. Say, this workout, uh, uh, this exercise is great. This one doesn't feel like it's doing anything. Okay. Basically, moving parts, which is what training is all about. I've got seven exercises there. Yeah. I really like that one. That one feels terrible. That one felt great. Okay. That one's good. All right, so we've got three exercises you really like, three that you don't really get. Let me change your routine. And you're happy as a trainer with that. You I work can keep with the changing client, all the you? moving parts. Right. So I can, I can change any exercise. I can add a workout. Okay. I can bring in a movement okay. and I've got emergency workouts to come in and basically it's just like a, a, every part is movable. So if you've got a chest press and that pull down, um, a back squat. Right? Now something like a chest press, does that need to be supervised? Every exercise, you will get taught how to do it. Yes. I and then from then on, yeah. you will be unsupervised while right. you do it. I've done this before in terms of uh, created unsupervised workouts. What you find is with movements, you've got a lot of different ways of doing the same thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, some movements are really complex and do a lot of things, but are quite difficult to do on your own. Okay. Some don't do as much, yeah. but you can do them unsupervised. Yeah. You know, and so yeah, the yeah. premise is, is that we keep doing versions of, of workouts that work for you. And this is, again... You know, the workout that I think might work for you, sure. in six weeks we might decide it. Yeah. You know, those movements don't work for you. And if I need help whilst I'm in there and you're around, I can ask for your help or your input or... Uh, it's, it's not so... What we want to do is this. Training, this is another thing that's important. Or are you going to be like that? No, no, no. no. Just... What would be is this? What would be is this? Most of the people... The training, once you've learned how to do an exercise... There's no... Uh, you okay. you are then in. This is another thing that a lot of people really lack with with strength training, right? Cool. I've got a movement that I'm going to do. Yeah. Right. Um, it's not injuring me. Yeah. Do I need to go heavier or lighter? Yes. Um, how many sets do I do? Yes. Right. That's on the program. How many reps do I do? All right. Uh, Jeff's over there, but I'm going to smash through my program. Most people who don't get a result, this is what they like in the gym. Yeah, I know. You need, get, we need to turn you into someone who can train 
with the mindset of an athlete. The mindset of an athlete is, yeah. I've got these exercises to do, I'm gonna yeah. do them. Now obviously, if something hurts and I wanna change it, I will know in advance because you would have texted me. I'm obviously gonna to talk to you in the gym. I'm gonna be like, oh. Yeah, no, that's... But so, yeah. I'm also gonna be, what I'm mainly gonna be doing, and it's important for you to understand this, do. I'm running this to get a result. So if I see that someone's not training hard and with, with a lot of uh, intensity, yeah. then I know that they need to adjust that. Yeah.